going on, everybody? It's Rockman 2K3. And as always, I'm Brother H. <laughs> and you're back again for another great episode of the Nerd Plate during this great Black History Month. Welcome back. We're so happy. Don't get it to- twisted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> Just don't. I don't want people to get it twisted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is the 20th. There will be another another week of this. Just because we end on the 28th does not mean black history stops. Don't right. get it twisted, white people. 365 over here. 365. 366. It's a leap year. Woo! Let them know. Talk to them. I don't know if that's how leap year. I promise you, I don't know how hey, leap years listen, work. Listen, listen. I just found out about the three sons. So, hey, man, you, you never know. Anything is possible. Anything. <laughs> hey guys, you back here for another great episode of the Nerd Plate. Welcome, welcome in. Thanks for listening, watching. Brother H, how's your week? That's always a struggle, brother, living under the white man's foot. Mm-hmm. But we yeah. persevere and we strive. Yeah. Still our rise. Mm-hmm. Like always, brother. Let them know. Let them know. Life may beat you down, but 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 my people and my ancestors crawled and and, and walk so I can run and fly. This is true. Because remember, we don't, black people don't obey no laws, not even gravity. To quote my man, Black Thought. Okay. I got nothing, I got, there's no response for that one. I don't. <laughs> great, great, uh, great song. If you guys have not heard. Black Thought's uh, third mixtape album. It's really good. Oh, my gosh. Um, is it a mixtape or an album? Which one is it? It's it's, it's basically an album. No, as well as call it an album. Um, but it was, it was really great. Just just so good. Actually, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That wasn't from that one. That was from Phrenology. So, yeah. I'm not a Roots fan, so I don't know. I don't know. In any case. Um, Straight X-Clan over here, baby. <laughs> Love now. Um, in any case, so I guess my week, um, it was it was pretty good, you know, just same old, same old. Had a lot of interviews, just trying to get back out there in the field. Worked on the game a lot, worked on projects. So you know, I'm just out it's here. Okay, trying brother, to... don't don't hustle trying to get back out there and become a slave yet again for the man. You don't need that, brother. Work on yourself. Work on your individual projects, my nigga. Oh, I have, people, brother, we don't say that word. <laughs> my my king, Pharaoh. My nikus. This is another word for king. That's, that's just it. what they call us. That's, that's all that's what they call us, baby. Uh, I, I have been on my eat, pray, love. Uh, I've been working on my game a lot, you know what I'm saying, and, and just trying to be better for me, you know? <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but on my journey as a black king, you know. There you, what I'm go. Saying? There you go, brother. Uh, so yeah. Less it's... less chicken noodle soup for the soul and more <laughs> biogra- autobiography of Malcolm X. Oh, of course, well, always, always. I love that book. One of my favorites. Um, all right. Well, let's jump into it then. Uh, so you Absolutely. ready for the first one, brother H? Because I got always. a doozy for you. This one, now this one's probably it's, it's more so probably something you would have talked about, but. Excuse me. I want to talk about it because it was very interesting. So, are you ready for this? Is it black centered? It is not. Uh, uh, it is... I would not have been spoken about it, my brother. <laughs> As only positivity and blackness escapes my lips. <laughs> well, so this will be a doozy for you. Uh, Capcom gives out two million dollars during the Capcom Fighting Cup Championship. Uh, the first prize got a million dollars. And the other money is divided between the other prizes. But the first prize winner got a million dollars. So, uh, of course, the tournament was held in the Street Fighter VI, their latest Street Fighter, of course. Um, And, yeah, influencers went out. They went out somewhere, I think, in L.A. They did the whole thing. It was like a week long. It was crazy. Um, Kudos to the guy who won. I can't remember his name. I think it was Manette MD or something. I, I don't know. But, anyway. Uh, yeah, he won and won a million dollars from, the, I think he came from the Dominican Republic and, uh, it's insane, man. Like that's the highest purse anyone's ever paid out in a fighting game in a while. Uh, I fighting game cause you know, the guy from Fortnite made what 40, didn't he make like 47? 
Yeah, he, like it, yeah, it was it was a big neighborhood for Fortnite. That was That's insane. Oh <laughs> Epic Games got them got a bag to give away. Ooh, they got the bakery. Woo! God damn. So, um, but yeah, that was like one of the biggest fighting game purses ever. I mean, not even Smash Brothers has gotten to that purse. And Smash Brothers, like everybody plays Smash Brothers. Um, so that was that was really great. Congratulations to them. I hope we'll see more tournaments like that because it seemed like everybody enjoyed it. Um, I really hope Street Fighter Six is good, man. I do. I I I want it to be good, man. I just I I, I have that sinking feeling that they. Because they're catering a lot to the online community, I understand. Because you know, Street Fighter Four and up, a lot their online community just kind of blew up, and that's that's why Street Fighter Five was as crazy as it was. Because they thought, oh, everybody's gonna play this online. Um, but yeah, man, uh, just kudos to them and kudos to the guy that won. Because man, that's that's insane. Um, and you know, from what everybody's been saying about Street Fighter Six, uh, it, it's a clean fire. They love it. They even had uh, what's her name? One of the wrestlers from WWE come out. I think Selena. Uh, she came out. She was a commentator for uh, the actual tournament, and uh, it was crazy, bro. It's insane. I have a question. Do you know who he played with to win this million dollars? Yep, Luke. Really? Yes. Yeah, I. That was not the answer I was expecting. <laughs> bro, I, I like I was. <laughs> I know this is Capcom trying to push Luke on everybody because, like, they've been doing it since five. Like, because, you know, he's in five and they're like, yo, Luke is cool and nobody fucking like Luke at all. But, like, six, I guess they retweaked him or something. But, yeah, I think Luke, I think the guy he had was Luke is the final winner because they were talking about how Luke is better and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, (sighs) so I think he's going to be like the OP character for Street Fighter Six, which they'll have to rebalance anyway. Oh, but, I'm saying they'll they'll pop if it's a fighting game, they'll they'll rebalance characters they'll rebalance probably every week. Um but yeah, bro. I'm just like, disappointed that they would pick a white man to win in Street Fighter. <laughs> there are so many black, powerful fighters in Street Fighter. Balrog, Dudley, Birdie, DJ. In, in that one, it was only DJ and Dalsim, so two. Dalsim isn't black, but he's a person of color, so we'll count him. <laughs> Right on. Have, wait, you said Balrog and who? No, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I said Dalsim and DJ. I forgot about Balrog. But I don't know. If Bal- is Balrog back in six? I don't play Street Fighter? No. I don't know. But well, you're naming everybody in the series, but I'm just naming people in six. Barty was in five. Dalsim yeah. was in five. Yeah, but like, they're not in six, though. Because that's what Balrog they're using. in five? Uh, I don't think so. The roster is it got big over time, so I want to say, I want to say he was. Hold on, I'll, I'll do that. I'll check. But yeah, I, what so do you? Many yeah, I know. What, how do you feel about that million dollar purse, sir? Oh, I mean, video games now it, it might as well be a career. Uh, so. You can't say the same thing about you know maybe ten years ago, but no, video games at this point is a career, mostly because influencers make it a career, and. Um, the culture is to watch things, watch people play the games rather than play the games. So, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, he was involved. Uh, he was on the season one pass. I couldn't remember. Okay. Yeah, because I I knew I saw him. So yeah, I know yeah, he was in four. But yeah, he's definitely in four. I I played five for like a month, and I I got bored real easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, you're right about that. It's definitely becoming a career, and it's it's crazy because there's a lot more pipe and streamlined than what you know it used to be. Uh, yeah, he is not in six. As a matter of fact, yeah, the only two people of color right now in six is DJ and Dalsy. Well, DJ Dalsy <clears throat> and Kimberly, because uh, Kimberly just showed up. She's actually uh, a, another black character they're introducing. So, well, three people so far. It's more than what we had in the past, and we've had so many. I know. There's like 15 of them. Well, all together, yes. All together, like, I think. Yeah, yeah. But like in a street fight. Wait, it, did they take Elena out? Yeah, Elena's not because you know she was only in three. They hadn't brought her back since oh, I think man. four. But yeah. That's what I'm saying. She was in four. I think she ain't making it five. Oh, mercy. You know they be switching that shit up, man. She might be in the um the seasons. But yeah, bro. What about Sean? Sean was in three. 
Man, they, they do one boy, Sean. So Sean, <laughs> Sean won nothing but Black Ryu, and they don't want him to win because he black. And he got corn <laughs> rolls. He had the same fighting gauntlets and all that stuff. Man, <sighs> Sean was the G. But, you know, his sister was in five. And then there, there's no word of is he, if he's coming back or not. But I met Sean. That was my guy. But then again, well, no, because his sister's in there. So was it? It, it would make sense for him to come in because, because you know, the Street Fighters are out of order. That's why they haven't had oh, him yeah. in certain ones. But yeah. The other so, was yeah. Debonair. Brother had on uh, uh, a, a poofy shirt, uh, suspenders, and boxing gloves. Throw the throw that left and right, and he hits you with that rose. So I was like, "Oh man, and that's a, dope!" And a and a and a debonair mustache that could just take take anybody's woman. That's it, man. Birdie was in four. Yeah, Birdie was he in made four. It to five. He was. Let me check. No, that. I don't. I know he didn't make it to five because uh, what was the rest of the? Uh... He didn't make it to no. He was in five. He was in the base roster. He was in five. Yep. Uh, so he was involved. Wow, Fav had a good like roster after the season passes, but that's like five season passes. They brought yeah. E Honda back in season four. No wonder. Yeah, no. Like F them for that. Oh, don't forget about Sagat, but you know, I don't think Sagat's gonna be in number six. Sagat's Ty. I don't know if he counts. His dark skinned Ty brother. I'll count him. <laughs> eh, I don't mean? know about it. <laughs> But but by that same time we got put in, but by that same time we got put in Rashid and Yurin. So never mind. You're right. You're right. Let's I'm just about to say but Rashid is Arabic. <laughs> yeah, Rashid's but, awful terrible. I like Rashid actually. I was going. I was going main Rashid, but then the game just got real boring. And I his yeah. his combos would have been good if they would have tweaked it better. But that spin he has, like that would be dope. But his whole life mission was to try to beat Ryu, and then they just played him in the storyline. I was like, oh. That's terrible. Well, yeah, it's because Ryu has worse plot, uh, just as good as plot armor as Ichigo at this point. <laughs> Facts. No, no lies fouls. No he, lies fouls. He just win. But just win. <laughs> speaking of Arabic people that we think are black, um, but, but I believe Brother C Dub brought a story back many, many moons ago. <clears throat> it was about a game that was going to turn the world on its head. Called I Am Jesus Christ. Do you remember this? I do. Please tell me there's no more developments. Please tell me they shut it down and we're just not going to do it. Please. You're not going to tell me that, are you? I'm not going to tell you that at all. Oh, God. So, first, (laughs) uh, I will, I can, I can say, uh, it's been confirmed. Don't know. I can't define the credibility of the source, Mm -hmm. but it will be coming out the second half, second quarter of 2023. Oh Lord! I look, okay. All right. <laughs> I can't. Real quick. Although I do, I do want to see brother if the modders will take uh take hold of this game and make him <laughs> black accurate and not give us the long flowing haired blonde haired blue eyed Jesus that you oh. see in the paintings because Jesus was not white. Let me, let me, he let me was just... a brother built of bronze. Oh, no. Hair oh, of no. sheep's wool. That's right. Well, praise, black, but you know praise, he was more Arabic. Than pra- praise black Jesus. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, let me, let me just he say was this. a brother of color. He was, but let me say this. Please th- look, developers, fellow developers out there, if you're watching, I'm thank you. this is a good game. It's no, a good no, it's a, look, look. If you want to lampoon and kill your whole development team before you even start, this is how you do it. Because I'm telling you. It's going to be a whole problem out here. Uh, just just to let you know, there's never really been a good Christian game or a good any Judeo-Christian game, period. Just I don't because... know, man. i seen some of them. Uh, if you go if you go to, like, the real remote uh, Dollar Tree stores, the, like, the re- look, 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 the real remote <laughs> Dollar Tree stores. <laughs> Real remote ones. Okay, it's not a it's not a name brand store. They got they got um religious video games, like Bible games and stuff. So again, brother H is is pulling your chain. There's not a good one. And then I didn't say they were good. They would exist. They exist. Here's the problem: is that every time someone does one of these, it's always controversy. Even if it's good, even if it's historically accurate to most people's eyes, someone's gonna take offense to it. 
So trust me when I say don't do these. You, you want a good example? There's an example of, uh, it's, I think it's called Battle of the Gods. It's a fighting game where they have Jesus right. Christ, game. Santa Claus, all the these people. No, it's not Santa Claus. It's Jesus Christ, the Buddha. Um, but Santa Claus is in it because they count him as a, as a deity. Okay, we ain't talking about the same game, man. Okay, cool. Anyway, because they, they had Jesus fight with like pieces of the cross. It, it's a fighting game, all this. Listen. It got so much bad publicity. That I it's all a damn religious figure. I don't know. But anyway, it, it it got so much bad publicity that it's on Steam right now for, I think, seven or eight bucks. No one's ever going to buy it because it's just, just trust me, religion is crazy. You I wish don't, I had money. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Trust me, it's not good. But why? Because I remember when C. W. A, a parallel this. roster, juggernauts from religion and mythology collide in battle filled with ancient magic and divine powers. <laughs> Unleash the full might of Jesus, Buddha, Moses, Zeus, Odin, and many more for the struggle in existence itself. Bruh, it's on the Switch, the PS5. It's on the Switch. It's, it's on the Switch. Like, I was just like, mm. you lying. <laughs> no, I, bruh, on, on Earth, it's on the Switch. <laughs> No, you <laughs> no! <laughs> yo, like, cause I was just like, if you just type in, cause you found the title, right? Cause I, I don't think I don't know if Battle of the Gods is the exact title, but if you find the exact, it's Fight on, of Gods, yeah, it's on the Switch, and it's just like, why, why? <laughs> don't do it, don't look. And then brother, I'm hey, update. So, I'm update. Come on. Oh, you update? <laughs> <laughs> brother, they still do it. Don't do you know? Don't oh, no, do I'm, I'm spending money on this game. <laughs> it's so bad. So yeah, guys, I please don't care. <laughs> At I this just, point, I have to buy this game on principle. It's, I, bro, like I, cause I, I was just like, I was doing something one day, and like I was going through, I was like, oh no, they put it on the switch, cause it was just like, yo, it's it's on PC, it's probably never getting ported, all this other stuff, and like, yeah, bro, it's on there. Like when you see it, you'll be like, "Really?" And I mean, it looks it, like it just, of course, watered down because it's the Switch version, but it looks just like PC. Version. I didn't say that. You said that. I know. You said trust, that. Trust me, this is one of those like you know how like the Switch has all those throwaway indie games. That's one of them, and I think it's only like nine ninety nine. But yeah. Oh, I'm buying it right now. <laughs> no, come on, brother, H, don't do it, please. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was only saying that because. Yeah, now I okay. and and I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I remember when C Dub first brought it to the show, Brother Age. They talked about they were going to show the resurrection, they were going to show the crucifixion, all that. Yeah, apparently you get to go through the whole life of Jesus. You can perform miracles, heal the uh, sick, cure the blind, make storms disappear, uh, stuff like that. And apparently, to quote, I remember the article quoted. I'm typing. I'm sorry, I'm not looking at no, the article you, right you're now. Good. You're good. You're good. Um, but I remember him saying that an over the top fight against Satan at the end. So, I don't know. I just want the modders to have the same kind of energy that they have to <laughs> um, that they have to add the nudity in. Uh, what is it, Witcher Three? Witcher Three, yeah. <laughs> and all this other, it's not on there. It's not on there. It was. No, I don't think it's on here. Did you, did you put it in the search? Because I yes, I, okay. It's not on there? I could have swore it's on there. Nah, I, I think you might have saw something else. Because okay. I remember this game being exclusively on Steam. I don't think it ever left Steam. Let me, let me see. What is it called? Fight of the Gods. Fight of Gods. Yeah, I don't think this ever left Steam. Because if I'm not mistaken, I saw this game. No, it is. Yeah. They said Fight of Gods is on the Switch. It came out January 2019. Is it on the eShop? Because I'm looking. Yeah, it's on the eShop. They said January 18th, 2019. Unless they took it down, but like, yeah, well, it's. That does not mean that. It's not on here, bro. It's got to be because it, they're saying it is, unless they took it off. Oh, well, and they took it off then because it's not on here. Are you sure? Did you put it in correctly? Nope. Hold on. Wait. Wait I, a minute. I, I, told, I told you it's on there. I, 
Yeah, yeah, uh huh, yeah. You're right, Rock Man. My bad. That's right. <laughs> don't, don't, brother H, brother H, come on, man. Don't, don't do it. The, oh Lord, no! <laughs> the sacrilege. <laughs> oh. It's only offensive if you believe in white Jesus. I don't. My Jesus. But... That's your Jesus, not my Jesus. That's your Jesus. Look, look. It's 30% off. Oh, no. It was twelve ninety nine. Oh, Lord, no. You oh. said this is on PS5, too? Mm-hmm. It's on PS5. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Because it's, it's a PS4 copy. So it's you can play it on your PS5. So it's a PS4 game. You gonna see what's it? <laughs> oh my god, brother! Don't do it, brother! H, no, <laughs> no. <clears throat> oh god, would you, would you like me to go on to our next story while you download? Absolutely, that? brother! Please do. Oh god, uh, regale us in your uh, <laughs> in your tales while I search for this foolishness. Well, before I go on to that, sir, um, do we have a release date uh, aside from the qu- they just said quarter? The second quarter. They just said second quarter of twenty twenty three. Oh my gosh! Why? Okay. Um. Yeah. So watch well, that's out. Why? <laughs> All right. So our next one, sir. But I bet you none of the African guys gonna be in there. Well, actually, I have a list of them, and <laughs> let's see. Yeah, you're right. I think, yeah, because this is done in Taiwanese, so yeah, they pretty oh, much this. Well, yeah, uh, well, it was a Taiwanese develop, uh, indie developer. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so they pretty much did like pretty much the mythical people and like one Christian. So yeah. Uh, also, fun fact: in the PS4 version, Jesus was changed to the saint. Uh, Buddha's changed to Zen and Moses has changed to wisdom. I don't know why the PS4 version is more <laughs> politic- politically. It's on here. No, no, brother. No, 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 stop. Don't do it. <laughs> it's <laughs> 1999. Oh, no. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, if you, if you buy that, you know, you got, you, you know, you got to stream it. <laughs> Oh, no. no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You're a terrible person. You're going to hell, buddy. You're going to hell. I'm not going to hell. <laughs> An identified error occurred. Try again in a few minutes. I'll wait. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, my next one. This is going to make you laugh as well. Uh, Again, I have pretty much all stories. You're going to be like, I enjoy all these stories. because They're all true. Uh, So... Uh, Vertuzzo Cesar, uh, former director of Marvel's Avengers, uh, apologizes for the game's direction. Now, <laughs> it didn't have a ba- well defined direction. <laughs> the play the story was cool. I, I I didn't mind the story. Well, so he just kind of apologized for uh, it just ending, you know, because he was like it was meant to be oh. a live service game. And we were we, we had so much planned, but a lot of things got in the way. So either way, I apologize to the fans. Y'all deserve better, and uh, we didn't give that to you. Um, so you know, he talked about how like he was really sorry, and you know, there was like a good roadmap, and they were gonna try to like do as much as they could, but a lot of things got in the way of it. And so he said, "You wish you would have done a better job of it." And of course, this is uh, reporting from various sources about that. Um, as you guys know, if you been living under a rock, of course. Uh, Marvel Avengers is uh, pretty much done, uh, which everybody, anybody who played the game saw that coming. But like Brother H said, the storyline was really good, and I really enjoyed that. And then them adding all new characters, that's going to be really cool uh, because they, they're still adding um, Winter Soldier. I think he's the last add-on before they just stop completely. Uh, but they had, you know, Hawkeye, Lady Hawkeye, they had Spider-Man, if you have the PS4 slash 5 edition, which he is exclusive to Sony. Didn't um, they add uh, Black Panther too? Yeah, I was about to say they added Black Panther as well. And, you know, Winter Soldier will be the last expansion. And then after that, they'll add one last update patch fix uh, March 31st. And then the game's going to be done. Uh, the cool thing is, is that they are taking all the cosmetic stuff off of sale and they're just going to give them free 
uh, to to the gamers. So that's really cool. I, I admire them for doing that because, you know, some people are just like, no, nah, we're just going to stop the pay thing. Y'all just ain't going to get anything. But right. at least they did say, like, hey, here's the cosmetic, you know, costumes, enjoy them, things like that. So I, uh, that's worth me downloading it again just to see what's what and see what I get for free and go through the rest of the little expansion stories because those are still available to play. You can still play a lot with your friends, but as far as, like, playing for the live services and getting stuff and paying for stuff, that's going to be done. Um, but, yeah, like you said, he just kind of apologized, and he's like, you know, I wish we could have done a better job, but it is what it is, things of that nature. So That's terrible. Um, why would you try to do uh, Ultimate Alliance when Ultimate Alliance already exists? Uh, just make <laughs> Ultimate Alliance 4 or add DLC to 3. That well, and, three on uh, uh, the other consoles. I, I want to say they eventually did, but if they didn't, Switch had uh, like they, they have like a good because I bought the season pass. They got a good like seven or eight expansions, and it's tough know, because like put it on put it on regular yeah, consoles again, right? Not uh, regular consoles on the other consoles, right? Um, I mean they did a great job because I mean you gotta grind because it's still. Like an RPG, but it's it's really nice. I like the ground system. I just didn't have time to play it. If I had more people, I'd play it more. Um, but yeah, it was very fun, and I loved having all my X Men and things like that in it. Uh, but Marvel Avengers, I, I think if they sadly, if they would take in more of the road of what Guardians of the Galaxy did, because that was a much better game. Like which it was single player, but you can give directions to all your teammates and stuff. That they made it like they did the old Fantastic Four games. Yeah, except it was it was better. But better. yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I enjoyed uh, Rise of the Silver Surfer. It was goofy. Uh, uh, um, and, and, and you know what, Fantastic Four, that, that those games were different because you could switch independently between all the members. You didn't have to just play as one mm-hmm, person. Mm-hmm. Although so, I do remember like a couple of. I know there were certain missions with Johnny that you could fly through, and Reed had his own little section of missions too. Right. When it was solo, but everything else was the four, the team. And you right. Could switch. So yeah, so I think that if they would have done it that way, instead of trying to make it that four player, like oh co op, which again the the co op is really good, but it's just the fact that when you get to the end game and it's like, all right, don't you want to grind for hours to get like. Two nope. pieces of equipment, and it's like, no, I, give me more story, if anything. So. I don't respect games that make me grind for no reason. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't, because uh, the games like that don't respect my time, and my time is very limited. Uh, no. Are, are, are you reclaiming, reclaiming your time, sir? Yeah, absolutely. By not playing trash games. <laughs> don't blame me. Games that, games that make me grind unnecessarily for cosmetics. Games that have more... Th- Anything more than four endings and you're doing too much? Depends. <clears throat> if, if it's like, if the whole game is choice, I get why you got to have multiple endings because sometimes you can get to the, some endings with just doing like four choices and the game's done. So I get that. Uh, but no, I'm with you. When you have to like gr- like slog through the whole game as an action adventure game or RPG, yeah, like, go. I mean, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross... Star Ocean, Jesus, uh, Fantasy Star, the original one, two, and I think three. I, they're okay. They're the passes to it because you make different decisions in the story. Not only do you get different parts of the story, but you also get a different ending. So I totally understand them. But yeah, when you do stuff like if if it's like Avengers or if it's like uh, which Avengers didn't, but like. I know Guardians of the Galaxy did. Like, you can go through... You Guardians can get, like, of the Galaxy had 10 endings, I think. Yeah, like, 10 in, And it's like, uh, okay. You know, Spider-Man was, like, Web of Shadows had 22? 20, right. 20 which, something? which, actually, theirs wasn't so bad because it's... You get it to was certain... Very bad. It, it was certain choices. Are like, yeah, okay. Ultimate Alliance had more than... <laughs> no, it's just... It had, like, four, I think. It didn't no, have... It had, Okay, okay, because, endings, I guess, but certain things that would affect the ending. Like, right, if you because, didn't save Odin, right. <clears throat> if you or, didn't save Odin, Asgard would wage war on whatever. If you didn't save, if you saved Nightcrawler instead of, was it Scarlet Witch? 
in Mephisto's realm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think she blinked everybody out of existence anyway. Yeah. So everything you did didn't matter. It, it's... Uh, yeah. I, it's, I, I get that when it when it works, you know what I'm saying? But when it doesn't work, when it's just like an action platform that you have to go through again and again. just Again and again, yeah. Right. It just doesn't work. So, And also, near Automa. Uh, uh, Automa. Yeah. It had a great system on how to get, like, different endings. Because, like, you had to replay the game, and it was a different game each time. It wasn't the same yeah. game. So, yeah. Kudos to them. They did a really good job of it. Um. Yeah. But yeah, that's my story on that one. What you got? Um, so this one is uh, a tad confusing. Let me mark the. Okay, yeah, we're at thirty. Uh, let me mark the time. So this one is a tad confusing. Okay. Um, I am Legend sequel will take place several decades after the first movie. I have questions. <sighs> I didn't read the. I didn't read the book. To be fair, I did not read the book. I want to read the book. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah. I'm gonna jump in real quick here. Uh, Hold on, first, one second. Okay. okay. You're gonna hate on it, and I know you're gonna hate on it. Just give, me, just let me, just let, let me cook for a little second. Let me, okay. Explain a little things. Um, starring Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan, it will take place several decades after the original 2007. Um, <clears throat> I heard. I heard. Uh, it will be a significant time jump with an alternate ending to the first movie being treated as canon in the sequel. Mm -hmm. It will start a few decades later than the first, and he got his inspiration from The Last of Us, where you see post-world apocalypse, but also a 20 to 30 year time lapse. You see how the Earth reclaims the world, and there's nothing, there's something beautiful in the question of as man steps away from the tenant, what happens? That will be especially visual in New York City. I don't know if they'll climb up to the Empire State Building, but possibilities are endless. The sequel is expected to lead further into the Richard Matheson novel that the original was based on, using the alternate ending in the film as a launching point, where Smith's character survives after managing to fend off the final attack. Um, the original movie grossed a whopping $585 million worldwide uh, when it was released in 2007. Its sequel and the upcoming Constantine sequel are top priorities for Warner Bros. We'll need that last one. Um, as the studio retains with Goldsman's production company, we rode in a multi-year first look deal. Now you can start hating on it because I know you're going to. <sighs> so I'm not. All right. First off, I'm not hating on it, but I, I I'll say this: nobody read the original book anyway. But it's based off the Omega Man, I believe. the The name of the original book is called, and it's com like I'm Legend was completely different. It was like. Like, them loosely basing it off was just basically saying, hey, that's like a soft premise idea. So, there's that. Um, the second thing, bro, Michael B. Jordan, really? He gonna be in everything now? Is he just taking over what Chadwick Boseman was gonna be in, like, everything as well? Like, and I'm not, not hating on my man's Michael B. Jordan. He is hilarious. Oh, he is a favorite. nerd. I yeah. love that dude. No, no, he's good. I just this. And then you're basing it off the alternative like ending, so now we're the going book. off of yeah. Well, not even the book. They're they now they're going to reintroduce elements from the book. They're still not going to the go. Book was off called the book. I Am Legend. Oh, the book was called I Am Legend. Okay. Well, anyway, nobody read the original book, but the book went completely different than the movie, um, and it just didn't. It was just different and weird. And then the fact that they're going to go off the alternative ending just shows that hey, we just want to make a sequel out of this. So. Let's go. I mean, at least with Constantine, he was still alive at the end of Constantine. So you can make another one, essentially. But just the fact that, like, hey, we're just making up stuff to make the sequel, it doesn't need a sequel. I mean, and then, like like you said, they got... I'm going to entertain it. I'm going to entertain it. I'm not going to say it's necessary yet. But... Right. But, I mean, they got the idea from... Because post-apocalyptic movies are, like, hidden now. Like, they got the idea from, like you said, like, The Last of Us... Uh, World War Z did so well like it did. Uh, and then the you had a game. I know it was, just, eh, it was okay. Uh, and Mad Max, which actually had a pretty good game, and in the story was the the movie was actually good. Um, okay, I was about to say you're not talking about the brother from Shadows. Oh, um, oh no, 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 no. Although no. <laughs> he deserves his own movie. Let's be clear. Uh, 
That brother did things with the shotgun I've only seen artists do with paint and tapestry. <laughs> um, also, shout out to Shotis. That that was a that was a good movie. One hundred percent. Well, nothing about but brothers just trying to get some money. That's all. Oh man. Um. But yeah, dude. So, I'm here for this. I, I. Why not? I'm I'm like in the back of the audience for this one. Like I, I am like, eh, it's not really my bag of tea. I mean, I, you know, I hope it does well for both him and Will Smith. But I, I just, I, I don't. Because I mean, it, like we already got a uh, bad, which I, no, that I do want. Bad see. Boys bad Four. Boys. Four. I, I definitely want to see that. But is you want to see Bad Boys Four, but you don't want to see I Am Legend Two? I I know. I, I I'm with you on that. Bad Boys Three was. No, no oh. one. No, it was good. It was good. Don't do that to Bad Boys 3. It was, it was good. good. Was it good. was good. It was good. They just didn't need to do another one, but now they're going to do another one. I'm like, well, it's it's because now that you mean have it was to good. Pass, you have to pass the torch on. That's what I'm saying. I want to see them pass the torch to whoever. Who did they pass the next. torch on? Well, okay. Did you see them? You saw number three, right? Yes. Okay. Who, who gets who? Who's gonna be the new bad boys? Please tell oh, me. Oh, hold on. Spoilers alert for anyone who hasn't seen that. I just want to say that right now. But it's like, okay, I, the movie wasn't that damn good. I think it's gonna pass to his son because remember at the end, the end credit was, "Hey son, do you want to go undercover?" And so he's gonna be undercover with the cartel. Hence, it's gonna be like a new set of like bad boys. But it probably yeah. just gonna be a more undercover scene. That's all. Uh, but uh, that's right. Do you want to go undercover? You can't be a son and father movie. It needs to be two new young people. Well, but it's because it, they're gonna focus on that, and what's gonna happen is either they're gonna finally kill off Mike Lowry and Marcus because they both getting old as shit, or they're going to like you mean right. getting they are, <laughs> or they just gonna retire. But it's like one of those things where like you gotta pass pass it on to like some really good people. Yeah, that's, that's what like, Shaft. That's what Shaft did. Shaft did it perfectly. Shaft's whole son was in the movie. By the and, and <clears throat> by the so, end, they was fighting together. All so that stuff. Sh- so it's Shaft. As a matter of fact, three generations of Shaft was in that movie. I know. So. Three generations that you could see the decline. <laughs> don't, don't do that to Richard Roundtree. Don't you do that to that man. That man's Ain't wet. no wrong with Richard Roundtree. <laughs> Nothing against the brother. He did a good job. And it was cool when he showed up. Back in the 70s. <laughs> right. Hey, nah. You know, Samuel Jackson did a good job in the new Shaft. But you see how, you see, okay, you see how long it took from the Shaft TV show to the Shaft movie, 1970 till about 2004 or five. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Give or take. Okay. From 2004 to five to 2019, 20. You see, you see the gap. Right. All right. That's how long you need to wait. I agree. Cause they, they're kind of pumping out these movies like no tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, like some of this stuff. Cause I agree with you. Like bad boys. Now nah, we'll slap the happening. shit out of Chris rock and he needs some money. That's what he did. <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, at the Chris Rock Dave Chappelle uh, show, uh, Chris talked about that man like, oh, I know like he did. wasn't shit. Like he wasn't <laughs> shit. I mean, I was expecting little blurbs here, and I know it was a good twenty minutes on the man. And I mean, I can, side jabs, deliberate jabs, all that stuff. I, I can, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Um, I'm sure he's eating good off that, but. Yeah, um, so I don't know, man. Like, I, hopefully it's good, but I just want Michael. I want Michael B. Jordan to get back. Keep doing what he's doing. Keep doing what he's doing. But I want him to get. Queen in the, three like, come out next month, and that's gonna be that's gonna be the greatest. Oh, wow. I guess I'm just it's, tired. I'm tired of the Rocky shit. How are you tired of three? How no, you tired I'm just three. I'm just tired of Rocky. Period. Like the whole saga. Just, Rocky ain't even in this one. I know, but it's because yeah. Rocky Creed is yeah. Like I, I just want it to be done. Like, like get his own, like hang his old like gloves up and let him just walk off the earth, please. I just, I'm so tired. Well, I, I there were five Rockies and number six when he tried to come back out of retirement, couldn't do it. Like just, just stop, stop. That's why we got Creed. I know, but I don't want Creed to go. To it's song. just like Cars. Lightning McQueen was really annoying, and then in Cars three, he stopped racing and he was on the he was. In the pit crew, telling the, the young girl, you got to pass, is passing the torch. It is and if nothing on. else, if passing the touch, torch, Rocky Sylvester Stallone did right. it perfectly with Creed, honestly. 
Because I think no, I like Creed cool. better than that the Rocky was, movies. That, that was a cool, like, hey, me and Some. your dad, we were cool, Some. you know. And I, yeah, like, I can't, I, I'm just tired of them. I'm just, some movies I just get tired of. Like, all right, I'm t- like, look, I love Fall Fantasy Death. I am starting to get tired of it. Like, it's, it's, oh, it's. Don't worry, the rest of the world did too. But we <laughs> got tired after 10. <laughs> no, I don't do that. No, it, 10 2. 10 2. No, oh, God, 10 2. Uh, um, like but yeah, it, uh, it was all right. It, listen, after 13 came out, it's not so bad. 13, 13 was just like, and I think it's just because they keep, like, I really wish, uh, what's his name, Sakaguchi would go back and just tell them, leave my stuff alone. Because, okay, I never shared this with you, but do you know where Strangers in Paradise takes place? Like, you know that it's a prequel to one. I know you don't care, but... <laughs> Talking to me like I know or care. No. I know. But here's what's really messed up. And this is why I'm just like, all right, y'all, leave the series alone, please. <sighs> Turns out the guy who's like, chaos. Oh, chaos. I want to end chaos. He's Garland. That was his whole story. They made a story for the final boss in Fall Fantasy 1 to make him seem like the good guy. And he's intentionally manipulating things behind the scene to make all the Fall Fantasies happen. I was so upset when I read that. I was just like, what's... So they are connected. Now they are, yes. Even though they're not supposed to be. The whole point of them are separate stories in the ethos. And it's just like, oh, okay, cool. But ever since 13 tried to connect them together, ever since, like, 14 tried to connect them together, it's just like I want to choke somebody. So, yeah, basically they, they latched on to what 13 was doing. So 13 is like, hey, Lightning is the good, like, hero throughout all the times is trying to unite different heroes and then you find out garland is like the enemy that's trying to manipulate heroes of light because that's the only way you can counter chaos i hate it here bro it's just so stupid but anyway yeah just wanted to share that with you that's that's what we doing over here in fall fantasy okay i no rebuttal for that one so no no i'm just i'm telling you now like I know sometimes Assassin's Creed goes all over the place, but they never did anything that stupid to where, like, Desmond just comes back like, I've been the bad guy. No, nah, Desmond while. come back at this point. <laughs> That's it, like. No. So I wouldn't be upset. I would play it. I would uh-huh. question the living hell out of it, but I might be done. <laughs> but again, the Garden of Eden apple still makes more sense at this point than fucking Garland being the main He's actually the hero because he's getting the guardians of light to come by and stop chaos. Yeah. Like, see, <clears throat> they don't have to bring Desmond back. They could like use uh, somebody else from his family tree to get back to Ezio and stuff. But eh, I think they've gone like, far enough away from the Ezio bloodline to go back at this point. Well, you remember when they said at one time they were trying to bring what's her name, the the lady from the good place, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the the one that voiced Alina, I forgot her name, but she she's a Alina great actress. is the girl from uh, uh, Uncharted. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad, Uncharted. Not not that, one, but the the blonde head one that died. The blonde girl. Yeah, I, we I had to kill. Yeah, like uh, doesn't matter. She was bad. We killed her. Kristen Bell. That's it. Uh, they were talking about bringing her back, but now it's just like, well, how that makes I I don't okay. So mm-hmm. she can voice somebody else. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Um. Okay. But yeah, I'm no, here for no. it. I am Legend Two. It's gonna be dope. Uh, uh, we'll see. Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan. That's great. Mm. Y'all said the same thing about the Men in Black. Look how look how bad that or Wild Wild West. Who said that? <laughs> I was a child when Wild Wild West came out, sir. I, 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 I not you. It's just, I, was, I did like, enjoy the yeah. movie as a child. Looking back, doesn't make a lick of sense. If they had cool toys from Burger King, that's that's pretty much all they were doing. Um, all right, so my next one. You ready for my next one, sir? I've been waiting on you to get to it. I know, my bad. Um, so this is more of like stuff that you're just like, huh? Uh, Kevin Foggy kind of admits, like, hey, we got a lot out there, and you know, it's hard to keep the ethos and the zeitgeist going, but hey, it's fun. But we do have a lot of stuff out there. Um, he talked with a few people, and he was saying how, like, and this is him quoting uh, what he said in the interview from Entertainment Weekly. I do think one of the powerful aspects of being at Marvel Studios is having these films and shows hit the zeitgeist, Foggy says in a new interview. It is harder to hit the zeitgeist when there's so much product out there and so much content. 
as they say, which is a word that I hate, laughs. But we want Marvel Studios MCU projects to really stand out and stand above. So people will see that as we get further into Phase 5 and 6, the pace at which we're getting out the Disney Plus shows will change so they can each get a chance to shine. So, and of course, he said, asked whether that meant Marvel would do more to space shows out or put out fewer shows per year. Foggy responded, both, I think. Um, so if you guys aren't familiar, of course, uh, when Foggy kind of took over, and especially when Disney Plus started making all their different series, uh, one of the most notable changes in the MCU came from Loki, where we got the, the introduction of the multiverse. Um, now, this is very different from how Disney approached or Disney slash Marvel approached everything with Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC, which originally was supposed to be, oh, okay, cool, by Josh Whedon, it's going to kind of influence what happens. But then, like, by season three, it just goes off the rails and does its own thing. Right. And it's not even in the lore anymore. Um, but it's really great to see Foggy kind of be like, yeah, we're going to, we're probably going to pull back a little bit, but we're still probably going to put out a lot of stuff too. So maybe they'll just be careful they put out. Of course, right now, which I hadn't seen Ant Man yet, but Ant Man's getting mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people are hating on it. Um, I think it's another one of those movies to where, like, it's got to set up so much. And so it's not going to be as great, um, which it's okay. Marvel totally puts out movies that aren't good. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> but I'm still Glad going. You admit it. Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, I hated Ant Man, I mean, uh, Iron Man 3, but. Um, and I hated. Uh, what did I hate? Oh, uh, uh, Captain uh, Captain Marvel. You were just like, oh yeah, no, Cap no Captain Marvel. Marvel. Okay, okay, okay. Real quick, Captain Marvel or Black Widow? Which one was the most useless in the MCU? <laughs> 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 She's I don't even remember the characters in that movie. Y'all did what? What was so wrong? <laughs> Y'all just like she did it. Why did they make this? <laughs> there was no reason. For this. Um, but yeah, so I, I think, I think with the setup and everything, I think they'll be a little bit more careful. And I mean, it's always the first few movies into the, the phase is always like, okay, cool. This is great. But like, what's going to really happen? And it's not until they get to the meat and potatoes to where it's just like, all right, cool. Well, Ant-Man just dropped off Kang. That's what I'm saying. But and people are still hating He's supposed to be the next big bad. He is. And, At least until we get Doom. Yeah. And like, they were already saying the Kang Dynasty is going to be a trip, so... I can't wait to see Ant Man. Just yeah, because Kang is literally infinite. I I don't understand why it could not be. <laughs> but but I, and, and it's again because they're approaching like comic books, and I think a lot of people don't understand. That's that's the same thing we go through in comic books. Not all comic books are good, but even a terrible comic book can set up one of the best like storylines ever. Like we saw that with AVX. We saw that with Civil Rights. Or I'm sorry, not Civil Rights. Civil War. Civil, Civil Rights. Civil War. More of the King's death. We still don't. Of it. We still don't have them, brother. We still yeah. fighting to this day. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So it, it's it's gonna be remarkable to see what he does. I mean, I trust in Foggy. And I mean, heck, if it wasn't for Foggy, y'all wouldn't have uh, DC stepping up the game finally by hiring James Gunn. You know, so that's good. I think that's well, that's what I'm really excited for is the playoff between. James Gunn and Kevin Foggy, and to see who's going to do the universes better. Uh, especially with what James Gunn has to work well, Kevin with. Kevin Foggy kind of has an unfair start. He does. And I hope people give James Gunn a chance to cook because my guy got some good ideas out there. Now we just got to execute and deliver. But if he if he pulls that that off, like, yo, like I'm with it. Um, which is good because DC has a lot of great stories they need to tell. Um, this is very true. So yeah, man, I'm with I'm with both. I'm with it. Let's go, baby. I'm ready for phase five. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to see it, man. Um, but yeah, I think he's gonna be a little bit careful because I think people are starting to get like full off of like the shows, you know what I'm saying? Especially if the shows kind of influence what's gonna happen in the movies. So it's a delicate balance. That would be nice, but the shows don't all the characters in the shows don't show up in the movies yet. Like which is a, now you know um, for me. Now but... Dare, Daredevil is the first, and I, I don't think he'll be the last. I know, I I know, but I think what's going to happen is I think you're going to see more of that because that's like the the next question that's out there. 
who's going to be the next next set of Avengers because you already know the old Avengers are out or they're pretty much like done. You know what I'm saying? Like they might show up just to pass the torch out, but you know. I was about to say Robert Downey Jr. is coming back at some point in some oh. form or fashion. Yeah, uh, he, yeah, definitely coming back. Jonathan Major said he wanted him Kang to face off against Iron Man, which leads me to believe he would. They wouldn't have let that slide if there wasn't, you know, some kind of way he was going to come back. Which in comic books, people don't even die anymore. Anymore, they, they never did. Well, um, well, well, except for Iron Man, Jean Grey, and uh, Jean like, came what? back. I know Jean came, but it's not the same Jean Grey. It's like it's still one- Jean Grey. <laughs> I know, I know, but Tony came, but ever everybody's come back. Well, Tony came back as a hologram ghost, and then now he's dead again. So, yeah, again, you know that's how you say it again, which means this is not his first time. Yeah, <laughs> it's like soap operas, man. Unless you see the body just mangled or whatever. Thor, like- Thor did. I remember Thor was dead for like two months, and then he came back off of <laughs> BS. Thor oh, yeah. he's back. Then he, back, then he came back. Then he came back as a woman. Yeah. Well. Not as a woman. That was Jane Foster. No, I'm saying the character Thor. Yeah, not it was. That was Jane Odinson. Foster. Not Thor. Od- not the dude. Yeah, the Thor. She is Thor now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. But it was a different mantle. That's not the I, same person. I know, but that's that's the Thor that we have, not the Thor that we had. I don't know how I'm, if I'm explaining these things correctly. Yeah, the that's dude not- that we have is Thor. Yeah, blonde haired, verily all that. Month. That month could die, right? Yeah. Come back. Now, died again. Then we got Jane Foster to be our Thor. And she's oh, yeah, our yeah. Thor. Yeah. But That's yeah, what, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes more I'm sense. Sorry. I was like, what, what are you? Yeah. I know. Uh, but but Otis Son is still out here. Just. Yes. <laughs> Just, and then, and even then, he was that, gone well, again. Well, and well, Better Ray Bill came in and subbed in for Thor. Yeah, and, and it's, it's like he's just out here. I'm like, okay, he's just, just here. Just, just make him Thor again. They're like, nah, he's not Thor. And I'm like, that. All right, whatever. Okay. <laughs> His name Thor. He don't have another name. Yeah, because every time they talk, oh, it's Odin. Son. I'm like, or you can just say Thor, or you just call it Thor. <laughs> going um, to the comic book store. I'm here for the new Thor. That's not Thor. Not- <laughs> Who's this woman? Oh, that's Jane Foster. That's not. Uh, then it should say Jane Foster, not Thor. Even uh, remember the the Wire type comic book series that where they're kind of basing it off the Wire, where they made the Thors into the police of like the um, the Battle World. That that's, was amazing. That's not an analogy, brother. That's the truth. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Mythological white men with power. <laughs> ain't doing nothing but calling down the thunder, which would be the man, calling it down upon us and destroying our, you know, uh, 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 ecosystem. Uh, you know, what I'm they, saying? They, Put, yeah. putting the hammer of Thor on our necks. Think about it. Dropping the hammers, aka their knees, on our backs and cutting off our oxygen. Look at that. There you go, man. There you go. Look at that. They don't know. Tell them about it. Let, these, piece, George let these let these Jacobian devils know. Uh, <laughs> wow. but yeah, so um, it'll, it'll be yeah, interesting to see what, what Kevin Foggy does. There's always, and in the show, I do appreciate that in the shows that they give us all the teasers for like the young Avengers. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Wolverine's coming, so eventually we'll get the dark Avengers. Mm-hmm. Better, that's that's the Avengers series. I'm waiting on. Um, thanks. Big facts, my guy. Big facts. We still still ain't got no X Men movies, but the, they're coming. When they're coming. Deadpool three comes. I feel year. it. I feel like Foggy's not gonna keep them from me much longer. I feel like he no. I, I mean, like. uh, and with Hugh Jackman coming back, that means that they'll they'll probably be an X Men movie this year. They got they got to give it to me. I, I gotta have it, man. Gotta have it. Um. Uh, but yeah, as, as far as these as far as these TV shows now, I, I I think there is too many of them, and they're not good ones. Like Miss Marvel wasn't good. Sorry, I finished it. Wasn't worth me finishing. Yeah, it, Moon Knight was better. Oh, absolutely. It, it was. Um, I think what with Miss Marvel, I think it just kind of was too long, and I think I think they were just trying to appeal to a different race. Um. They just didn't do it right. Yeah, I, I agree on that. Um, 
I mean, I, it's, it's, I like the character. I like uh, I like her. She's cool. Oh, yeah, I like Kamala Khan as a character. I just, I, I don't care for this TV show. Yeah, it was just too long. That, that's why I, I felt like it was just too long. And I mean, that's saying a lot because there's only, what, like eight episodes? No, uh, that was more than that. Um, yeah, see, it should have been, like, I, that one, for me, that one should have been, like, six episodes. But now we got Moon Girl and... Uh, yeah, it's just Moon Girl. It's not Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. But we got Moon Girl, and I guarantee she's not going to show up in the movie anytime soon. Um, I know Riri already has, but she's getting her own series. And yeah, it's going to be very her. short-lived, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I think, because like, the biggest thing they have to like reconcile up is, like, of course, Loki Season 2. Because that's got to, now we got to see, like, what the after effects of the choices as well as where they're gonna, gonna have, it's gonna be know. a minute because since we now got Kang in Quantumania, I'm sure Loki fits in somewhere close to this with the explanation of the multiverse and the quantum verse as it applies in Ant Man. I don't know. Yeah, like I I like. I can't wait to see how it all fits because you know we still got Blade, still got Daredevil that's coming. I don't believe that Blade movie coming out, bro. I wanted to so bad. Like I, I like to stop having production problems, man. Come on, man. I want. I, want I, I don't. I just don't. That movie been in production since twenty nineteen. It would came bro, out right now. every time. They're just like, uh, we got another production. Problem. I'm like, oh, so yeah. I hope it does because I want to see my boy Marshall Ali. Just bring back Wesley Snipes. I mean, I'm sure he'll be in it somehow, but Marshall Ali, man, that dude, I've been I've been watching him as an actor since like the great show 4400. That man can act his sure. ass off. Let him be blade out in this motherfucker. Let him and be And he beat Wesley. Wesley Snipes was cross kicking people. <laughs> <laughs> and is is Wesley Snipes Charles Goku? Can he be Wesley Snipes though? <laughs> well, Wesley Snipes had a Wesley Snipes had a good run in the nineties. He did. White Man Can't Jump, New Jack City, three, two Blade movies in the 90s. Uh, what's Don't, forget about, uh, Don't forget about Money Train. That was pretty dope. That's nice. he, was a, he was a black karate man. He was crazy. Um, who did he stab in Blade 1? What was the name of that lady? That was his mama. Oh, uh, Sanaya Lathan's character. I forgot her name. He, yeah, he stabbed Sanaya Lathan and cross-kicked the shit out of that white dude uh, who's Remember he threw like the uh the lab assistant that would join him? Like hey. he was like he's like like when the police came, he's like, get over there. I was like, wow, he just really threw it. He told it. Either that's Nick Nolte or Jeff Bridges. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, uh the as uh Whistler. Who's Whistler? Whistler. I, I forgot. I think it was uh Jeff Bridges. I want to say it was Jeff Bridges. Um but yeah, he told Jeff Bridges, this ain't the Marshall Dimes. <laughs> gotta get it how we live out here. <laughs> Just let, just let, just let him come back. That's, that's fine. I, I just listen. Him and Ice T tie for like some of the coldest lines in cinema ever. Because listen, Ice T saying? need to be in a Marvel. Ice T need to be a Marvel superhero. He, do- I would love. To- you know what? Yes. I don't know who he could be. He could be plenty of people. Forge. I don't know. Is it? Would he make a good Forge? I thought Forge was Latino. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Never mind. Never mind. In this day and age, brother, you got to play people close to their listeners. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love Steve. I don't know why they made Namor Latino, but you know it works. It works. Um, but nah, man. Like, you know what's yeah. also funny? Namor came out of the water and said, my name is Kulku Khan. My enemies called me Namor. Immediately started calling him Namor. <laughs> didn't question, didn't try to call the man by his actual name. <laughs> They're like, we immediately are the ops. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> He's like, that's fine. We'll burn down your whole home. It's fine. It's like, it's fine. I got more. Uh, that's cool. I got more uh, warriors than this. Bla- this this country has grass. I was like, Whoa. that's a weird flex. Okay, <coughs> my man's was out here. Um, but no, man. So I'm I'm excited to see where it goes. Oh yeah, no. What's his name? Coldest line in Blade says, "Some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate up hill." Like, woo! Trying to woo! ice skate up hill, boy. <laughs> Ow. My chest! My what? chest! <laughs> Greatest thing ever. And then, of course, you got you got uh, McHater. Uh, what's his name? 
gosh, uh, the guy who played Deacon Frost is like, Marvel movies suck. I'm like, shut up. He's just back. Zane Ash should come back. Stop hating. <laughs> oh, man. Terrible. I, mm. Terrible. But that's um, what, what you got. So the last one I had is a rumor, and I wanted to ask your opinion. Um, it's all uh, court documents from the UK's Competition and Markets Authority seem to confirm that Nintendo's next game system will still use the Nintendo Switch online service that it currently uses. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was first shared over Reddit and can be seen directly on the source of the website. Like, the documents come from an on, on the from the ongoing Microsoft Activision Blizzard acquisition case, which is bringing us lots of interesting news. Um. Like our report on Sony saying that the Switch could never run a Call of Duty game. Ooh, shade. Um, They're trying so hard to block that. Like, whoo, they're trying so hard. Yeah. Stop being haters. In the <laughs> in the documents, the CMA are assessing Nintendo's online service as a cloud gaming platform uh, to make comparisons to Xbox cloud gaming. Uh, mm-hmm. The report ultimately, ultimately decides that Nintendo isn't competing there as their online services focuses on multiplayer gaming, one of the points, however, specifies that Nintendo's cloud gaming service is only available on the Switch. Um, the Switch online service isn't available on any other console at present, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the implication here, therefore, is that the system is unannounced and it will likely be on uh, Nintendo's next console would run the same thing. Uh, what do you think? Do you think they need to change it or do they need to keep the same? What? All right, so this article is stupid. This is why I don't comment on rumors. Everybody keeps the same service. Microsoft kept the same service. Sony kept the same service. So it only makes fucking sense that Nintendo keeps well, the same service. They kept the same service, but they both have improved on said services. Did they? Did they? Put yeah, the okay. exactly the same. And no, then Microsoft, Microsoft changed just, it. I'll Microsoft, Microsoft just had games with gold. Then they right. had Game Pass, and now right. they have Cloud. Right. PlayStation had PS... Play- it's still PlayStation, PlayStation Plus. Plus, right? I know, but they have improved on it because they tried to give us PlayStation Now. Not saying it's good, was well, not good at all. But they refined that and gave us the the three tiered system, which you end up paying a lot more money for, for basically no. the same. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, anyway, this article's stupid. Of course, they're going to keep the same thing because number one, the cloud gaming that they're talking about that's available now. You don't have to have Nintendo Online. You can buy games like um, Control, Resident Evil 7 on uh, uh, the Switch, and it's a cloud service. Like, so basically, your cloud service is like, you know, just like Microsoft, it's running off servers to make the game presentable on the Switch. So, yes, of course, they're going to keep the same thing. They'll probably make improvements, of course, but like that's a stupid article. Be like, they're gonna keep the same thing. We don't, we don't. Just, like, I'd get so mad at everybody trying to just constantly throw shit at Nintendo. Take it down. No, nah, it, it, it down. makes me mad because it's like everybody does the exact same thing, and they're heroes. But when Nintendo does it, oh my god, just oh, what are we gonna? Oh, like stop. Well, I think people are really frustrated because there isn't a new Nintendo system at this point. Well, that but okay. Here's the thing. Nintendo and has, Xbox and PlayStation have both jumped the generation. Yeah, but Nintendo has never cared about graphics. They've said that. All the fans know that. It's the, all these new people are just like, we want, and I get it. Even some of us are just like, all right, it's t-, and it is. It's time for a new system. I don't think this is. 2017? Yeah, like 2017. So I don't think that Nintendo is going to just put out another Switch, like just Switch 2. And it's the only, only thing that's going to be different is that. Maybe they updated the graphics. I think it's going to actually be a new system. And, of course, they're going to have the old online because they have to carry everybody's online stuff. and put it, Especially now that we're paying for it, they got to carry that service over. That's the whole reason why PlayStation Plus did that from PS3 to now. It's the whole reason why Microsoft did that from Xbox regular to now. So you can't sit up here and be like, well, they should make a new online system. All right, because cool. Now we got to pay for something completely different. You've got to stop subscription, which essentially messes up your subscribers. So why would they do anything new? That That's why I hate that article. It's stupid. Um, yes, Nintendo will have Nintendo Online, but it's going to probably be a different model, but still have the same online setup. As in, like, they'll probably just actually have a schedule for games, maybe. Or they'll say, hey, now you'll get... 
you now you'll get this instead of this. Like maybe they'll add more to it. They won't. But of course it's gonna be like the same thing because you oh, can't yeah. expect them to just change up shit now that people are paying for it. Because here's the other thing: as much as everybody's getting on Nintendo about online, this is the first system that Nintendo has said, "Hey, you have to pay to play online." The very this is true. first. And even then, it's a better buyout than what you have with the other systems. Because at least they're saying, hey, at $19.99 a year, here was all the games you can get for free, plus this. And it wasn't until they were like, hey, we're adding Genesis N64, but if you want that, you got to pay a little bit more. And even then, it's still only like $59.99 for a year, which is what PlayStation Plus used to cost, and which is what Microsoft used to cost before they went up. So everybody gives all the shit to Nintendo, but Nintendo's been moving out of pace to where they're like, Hey, this is efficient. You know what I'm saying? Not efficient in terms of like how we bring out games, but price efficient for the whole family. So well, they can hate on that, but they I, I think you're oh. interpreting that. Oh, they're totally I don't think nobody's saying they're totally hating. Like, oh, they're, they're gonna have the same system. How do y'all feel about that? Y'all ain't getting nothing new. How do you feel about was, that? Like I, I, ah. nobody said anything like that. Yeah, that was direct. That was direct quotes from whatever this website is, which is it is a, a it's UK a rumor. Fuck them. This rumor. Why are you so angry? Calm down. Because again, it makes me mad. That, like again, Nintendo does everything that it possibly can to make sure okay, it's just the right price point for our fans and stuff like that. And then like they lambast them like, oh, they're giving us the same thing. And I'm like, PlayStation Plus has been around since PS3. Nothing's been different. Microsoft has been around since the original Xbox. They were the first online service aside from Sega Dreamcast. Sega Dreamcast was the first online service. X-Band was like one of the first online services. So yes, it's one of those things where like, okay, we got to gradually step up. But like everybody has the same service. It's not like everybody drastically changed anything. The biggest change over the years for online has been Microsoft because they have introduced cloud gaming. They have introduced Ultimate Pass, which lets you play on your systems, as well as your PC, and with some games anywhere. But that's the only thing. Everybody else is just out here doing the exact same thing because you have to keep your online subscribers. You can't just switch up stuff and be like, okay, here's the new price point. We'll stop charging you around this time. Get out of here. Whatever. <laughs> Still think you're a little st- So I found the, the section that it's talking about, and it is in section 7. Mm-hmm. And on page C5, <clears throat> section 7 and table 15 is shares of cloud gaming services in terms of averages averages on in the year 2022 worldwide. And all it says in section B, Nintendo Switch Online has been included for my shares as Nintendo cloud, Nintendo's cloud service is very limited. Nintendo's cloud gaming service is only available on the Switch device and uh, redacted. Not not sure if that's a, a future name for a console or something. Uh, the Switch, Nintendo Switch Online gamers gives gamers access to online play and cloud saving, amongst other features. We therefore see Nintendo Switch Online as a predominantly an online multiplayer service rather than a cloud gaming service. That's all they say. I mean, but that's what it, it like. I, 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 nobody said no. Calm down, brother. Nobody's, mm. nobody's attacking no, you, brother. Just, no, I know they're not attacking me, but it's just stupid because they're trying to say, "Oh, what does Nintendo do?" Like, bro, like this ain't uh, even about Nintendo. This whole article, this is. I know uh, it's about Microsoft, and they're trying to prove, "Hey, Microsoft taking over." Blah blah blah. Like, I get it, but it's just stupid. Like, yes, that's what it is because, like I said, the only cloud service games you can play on the Switch are the Switch, like, cloud performance-based, like, games that, like, allow all, like, the processes that come from, like, cloud service. So, it's, again, it's stupid. It's just rumors and shit. Well, my, what my uh, point of our uh, conversation was going to be was I do think they do, they need to keep the surface. They need to change the, uh, the, the, the games that you get, essentially, the Switch Online stuff, and change how that works. Um, because I had to go through a bitch and a half of remapping GoldenEye, <clears throat> which I did ask for. And it's a lot easier. To, it's it's more p- palatable now that you that I've remired all the stuff. Mm-hmm. I would like a schedule of things. Um, mm-hmm. The free games that you get, not complaining. They're fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, just me personally, I wish they would have started backwards uh, with me, but they didn't make the service for me. They made the service for you. 
uh, as far as Nintendo fans. Like starting back from the original NES, it's like two games on there I wanted. I don't care about the rest, mm. uh, but they kept going forward, and I'm proud that they are. And checking back, you know, they keep adding some things, but I think they need to, they need to tweak it just like Microsoft and Sony have done accordingly. Yes, they both went up in price, but I think uh, as far as price wise, you still can't go wrong with. I'm not gonna say PlayStation now. Because PlayStation, I think, did the cheap thing, which, you know, if you pay $119 and you can play literally everything. Not everything. You can play, like, a, a small... I say everything. I mean robber. all generations. No, that's what I'm saying. You can't play all generations. Yeah, like, they, they have... They have you, PlayStation they have, 1 stuff on there? They do, but it's not all the PlayStation 1 games. Okay. Just that's like it's not all the PS2 games. Not it's like all. a few of them. You can you can play the span of the generations. You can play some from PS1, PS2. Very it's, few. PlayStation yeah, very select few. Very, yeah, very select Very, very select And that's few. not good. It, no, it's some hit, it's some hitters on there from one. No, I can't, hey, see, I can't speak like, on two. I ain't seen two, too many PlayStation 2 games I was hitting on. Two, they took like a lot of the popular shit. And like, I mean, that's what they that's what they all do. Like that, so that's why I get angry when people are just like, oh, Nintendo didn't like. Because people make fun of like how Nintendo puts out their stuff, but like PlayStation and Microsoft do the exact same thing. Like but PlayStation and Microsoft, where they excel at, they don't give you quality. Is like we said last week or two weeks ago, they don't mm-hmm. give you quality; they give you quantity. And they try to hide. They mask the fact that they're not bringing back the uh, let's just say Sly, the Sly Coopers and the Jack and Daxters, but they give you a hundred and thirty th- other games to play. And their uh, their excuse is, well, we gave you this many games to play. Surely you can find something. Yeah, it's not what I want though. That that's not solving. It's it's solving the problem, but not really. Right. And, and that, I think Microsoft, not Microsoft, but Nintendo does good good on their promise. Like they added, I think they added Super Mario Three. Yeah, but they're already that was their day one. No, for the Game Boy. Oh yeah, for the game. Yeah, uh, Super Mario Land Three. Yes. Yeah. Super Mario Land Three. Yes. Classic. Yes. Fantastic banger, yes. Um, oh, but... and, and uh, I'm sorry, yeah, you're right. Super Mario, it's Super Mario Vance 4, Super Mario 3, yes, which is essentially Super Mario 3, but they also added Super Mario Land 3 to it as well, yes, yeah, yeah. But they add games like that when Minish Cap, Link's I'm Awakening. Cap. I'm not a Minish Cap guy, I, I, um, know. I know, and uh, Link's uh, we, we talked about this last week, Link's Awakening, right. they already redid Link's Awakening. Last year, and made us pay fifty nine ninety nine for that game, right? But this is the original that. one that's free. It's the same the damn game. It's just it shiny. Is, but you didn't pay anything for it. It's with the service. I know. So if you was gonna do that, why would you re release? Why would you remaster? It's not, it's not the same. That's actual remake. It's not a remaster. It's a full remake. Remake remaster. Redeem. Hell, I know it's, this is a whole thing. But like, it's actually it's, is, it, is it about Link? It, and do you have to fight? Some some of the end with the master story. Yes, it's the same damn game. <laughs> no, Nothing changed about it. The story didn't change. None of that. No, all that. Cra- no, wait, no, Link's Legend of Zelda. Yeah, Link's Awakening is different. He didn't fight Ganon. He didn't have the master. No, he story. fought. He fought like some big bird. Did he fight? Did he fight Vati in that one? Yeah, I think he. No, yeah, I think it was Vati. Or he, it was the one with the giant egg. That's what I remember. I can't remember what the end boss. I was. can't remember if that was Vati or that's Minish Cap. Either way, the island doesn't goddamn exist. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert to anybody that ain't played the game. They, yeah, they, t- yeah they totally pulled a Super Mario 2 on you. are like, uh oh. No, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot? No. Not even here. Oh, no. Not even here. Oh, oh. oh, don't do that. Don't do that to them. Don't do that. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, all, all three systems don't give you what you want. They give you an excess of games and their excuse is you'll find something that you might not like what we put out here, but you'll definitely find something to play. Right. Right. Microsoft is notorious for it. Uh, I think it's a good, a good addition. What they did with game, game, game plus game pass, right. Uh, ultimate, which, you know, bringing the PC stuff on, you can play everything on your PC. Now Mm -hmm. fine, dandy, great, fantastic. Uh, Sony is slowing their ass around. Why? By adding like, Oh, you can play God of War on PS5 now. All right, sure. What about everything else? That would also be helpful. Oh, that's make sure you, if anything you want out there, make sure you, like, like I brought up in the show, because they're taking that away. So I, I know. 
I'm gonna buy it on the console because I got the console <laughs> on PC games. I'm gonna play PC games on. If I got a console for the game, I don't need to play it on my PC because I got but it on you, console. But you, but you might want to, brother. You might want to. Why? Why would I do that? Why? Why would I do that? Because <laughs> I mean, now I don't need. Do I don't need. I don't need one game in eight different. I say that Skyrim. Oh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Mm-mm. I only got Grand Theft Auto on two things: my Xbox uh, series and my PlayStation. Nah, just uh, just in general, because your Grand Theft Auto Five just be like man, like when PlayStation Six come out, I can't wait to see how Grand Theft Auto Five gonna look on there. Or oh, Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim. It's not like they made two other Elder Scroll games. Well, no, ESO ESO doesn't count. Uh, no, it doesn't count. count. Yeah, not yet. Okay. I'm waiting on that. But we yeah, gotta get really. Starfield first. Which, no, we, uh, ESO is supposed to be first. ESO is supposed to come out in 2016. No, ESO is already ESO is already out, and then they they talked about six Elder Scrolls six. They're like, so they're not going to make that until Starfield comes out, and then they'll focus on Elder Scrolls six. There are more Elder Scrolls games to play. <laughs> I was gonna remaster Oblivion. Oblivion was good. They did not better. They- they they remastered it once though. They didn't do what they did with Skyrim. Skyrim got like three or four of them all, but no, they Skyrim did got seven. Yeah, um, they, <laughs> Oblivion. They did it once, and they called it special edition, and it came out on PS4 I and want, Xbox One. I don't want special edition. I want the <laughs> ultimate edition, the game of the year edition, or whatever they did for Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim Skyrim only had three DLCs. No, they had no, they had five. No, 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 no. Uh, Dragonborn DLC, Hearthfire. Uh, the side story where you go to the other place, the other country. I forgot what that was called. Yeah, they had about three or four. It was it was great though. I really don't think I don't know. I could be wrong. It was it was it was quite a bit, but man. Anyway, um, uh, my whole argument was I think it's time for Nintendo to start to tweak it. Well, I mean, so they will. We know they're they're coming out with another system, but uh, we do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're coming. Out. It's it's time for another system. They know that. We know that. It's been time for another uh, system. They ain't changing them. Okay. Three three expansions: Dawn Guard, right. Earthfire, and Dragonborn. No, you said like five. It was three. I said three the first time, mm, and then you it? said yes. I said three, then you said no, and then I said okay, probably five because it felt like five because the game's long as shit. Yeah, it is long. Um, with all the DLC, the main story is like twenty hours. No, the main story is like forty hours, okay. and then there's like all these other side quests you can do, and then that's like two, three hundred hours right there, side quest and story. But then like the expansions add like forty to like a hundred hours of gameplay each expansion, so it's like crazy, exactly. um, ridiculous. I love it though. Um. I think it's time yeah. for Nintendo to add some, add some stuff. I mean, they or just come out with games I want to play. They can't bruh. just make the whole thing for you. That's and again, because look, we eating good as RPGers. Like Octopath Traveler coming out the twenty fourth. I ain't then talking about got... new games. I'm talking about just NSO. Like just the, from the, the online. Yeah, like I mean, you know, Nintendo got the catalog to do it. They do, but here's the thing that every because this is what Microsoft and Sony run into. It's just nobody publicizes it as big, but like it's it's getting the rights. Like, yeah, they have a giant catalog, but now that a lot of those companies Tell me are Nintendo either, ain't got the rights to all the Mario Party games. They ain't oh, got the they, rights to them. Yeah, oh, they absolutely do. But that's their first party stuff. That's different. Yeah, they could put that out whenever they want to. Who's but stopping no, them? I mean, they are essentially. They're like, mm, hold on. But, That's the problem. <laughs> but the thing is, is that like with well, other stuff too, they have to get like the license and things like that. So I get it. If you're talking about the first party, yeah, absolutely. That's just them being them. Because I mean, That's look, all look, we at, play. Look, look at Earthbound. We've been waiting forever to get Earthbound 3, which we ain't going to never get. But you know, like we just, we're like, come on, man, bring it out. And it's, I was like, ah, we might, we might do it. Never like, it. I understand. That's just weird. I understand yeah, the is. golden eyes and the conquers bad fur day and uh like all the rare stuff. I understand that. But the first party stuff, like there's no reason all the Mario Karts shouldn't be on there, which they are now. Uh even the bad No, uh, no, not yet. 
Uh, almost all of them. We still, which I know that I'm telling you, they're waiting on the GameCube. Oh, no. I think yeah, we GameCube, don't. Double Dash ain't on there. Yeah, Double Dash ain't on there. And I'm telling you, GameCube is going to come out the same time as Sega Dreamcast. I'm telling you, that's the next big one. I can't wait. They ain't got nothing else to go. What you gonna put the um? <laughs> they can put the, the Neo Wii, Geo. You gonna put the Wii U stuff on there? No, they can put the Neo. G- oh, don't do that to Wii U. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't do that to them. You know oh, what they do with the Wii U stuff? They're re-releasing it on Switch like it never came out, and it's selling Game Busters. You leave them alone. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like they've been, they, bro, they've been was, push, they've been pushing Mario Kart Eight for damn near ten years. Bro, point. I was so mad when Captain Toad came out. Everybody's like, "Oh man, Captain Toad's a good game." I'm like, it was all Wii U. Why did y'all buy it? No, I want to read. Oh, nobody check for Wii U. Like I wouldn't check in for Captain Toad. I, I I enjoyed the Wii U, but I got it as a gift. I didn't give a damn. Uh, I just didn't want to play the Wii no more. Be they, nice the with you. they had great games. It's just uh, again, but there's no, there's no reason that all the Mario Party shouldn't be on there. All the Mario Kart shouldn't be on there. All the Mario single player stuff. They got Paper Mario and uh, like Mario. What was it, Mario the yeah, whatever just came out on the Game Boy stuff. Can't remember. Um, uh, uh, Mario Luigi's? Mario, all the Mario Luigi's from the uh, DS stuff should be on there. Uh, those games weren't terrible. All of the new Super Mario U, U Bros, all, the, all those should be on there. That's what you start. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no, but see, there's no reason none of those should be on there. No games was well, good. They were, and then like, and then when you look at the DS catalog, that's a dope. So I think with the DS, yeah, but at the same, DS should have came out before all of this, all the Game Boy stuff. Well, but here's the thing with the DS though is that they have to retool all of those because of the touchscreen. So that's going to be retooled. Also, the Switch ain't touchscreen. Yeah, they, but they didn't, they, they, didn't, they, they didn't make it a whole system, a whole other Switch that defies the purpose of the Switch. Yeah, but you can't use the touchscreen and the TV at the same time. That defeats the purpose of the Switch. So they That's have what the Wii U re- did. The Wii U didn't do that. The Wii U used a small screen and the TV at the same time, yes, but that was the lore of it. The lore of the Switch is it's all in one. Either or. It's not both. So you they, me the Wii U was better. No. The Wii U is not better. It's just the Wii U is a different functionality. Um... Mm. But, like, you can't, because with, with DS, when you have the touch screen and the screen active at the same time, you have to retool the technology to where they can either be side by side or you can have them on the same screen. So, and I mean, they got to find a good way of doing that without sacrificing too much of the fidelity. So, I get why they don't have DS yet. Because, I mean, that's why you don't see a lot of them get poured over to other systems because they have to retool that whole, like, you know, touch screen thing. So. My whole argument was it's time to add some stuff. I mean, it. they're adding stuff. Y'all, y'all just don't like the stuff they're adding. That's all it is. They're adding. They have. I know that was my whole argument. Like that's all it is. So stop complaining about oh they're not putting stuff up there. Keep that same energy when Microsoft adds all the little like indie games y'all don't want to play or all these dumb ass AAA titles. Keep oh, that no, same I energy. said that. I, either I said great. it. Either I said it in the chat. Or I said it on the show. Right. Now, you did say that. Yes. No, I remember. I don't remember which one, but I was like, yeah, they be putting some shit out. I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't want to Right. That, but I, I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about in general. Like, I wish those people would keep the same energy. Because, like, they oh, love wow. coming in just shitting on Nintendo. But, like, when Microsoft does it. I shit on Microsoft, too. Microsoft ain't shit. No, I, I'm not loyal oh, to I, any one of these motherfuckers. Don't worry. Oh, I, I, I do. I don't do. worry. <laughs> the only reason I play either one of them is because they hold my interest at a minute. Uh, Microsoft at this point has got Atomic Heart just starting that. Sony's got my attention because of Hogwarts. Uh, Nintendo's slowing around. I'm I'm slowly putting Golden Eye down because I'm starting to realize, like, uh, yeah, we only played this game for a multiplayer for a reason. Um. But yeah, man, it's just it is what it is. People like what they like, but like I hate when people are very like, true. Oh, like, oh, Nintendo's not a great system because of this. Like, no, the system is amazing. And they like this is like when people are just like, oh my god, like Tears of the Kingdom is gonna be $70. It's like, you're still going to buy it. Stop acting like you're not gonna buy it. Stop. Like it's gonna be but a that great kind of goes against what we said, you know, when when we first said that games were going to be $79, $79. Games don't need to be $70. They don't, but at the same time, like, like especially, I said. <laughs> especially Nintendo games, because they're 
This bitch. But y'all ain't gonna sit up here and talking about how Breath of the Wild wouldn't all that crazy. Oh no. Like, Don't worry, we buying that. Legend of Zelda. We buying Legend of Zelda. That's what I'm saying. So like, but my thing is, and I mean it's just like we said, like, of course Nintendo's gonna like do that. But at the same they time, should, like, they should be the pioneers to be like, no, we're gonna t- we're gonna keep it fifty nine ninety nine. Just uh, I know I agree, but they they want money like everybody else. Their company, just like anyone yeah, else. Um, a child could swallow a Nintendo car, uh, a Switch cartridge. That's a, that's embarrassing. No, no, they can't. Not with that bitter taste. You saw all those like you saw those Switch challenges where people were just like, I'm gonna lick the cartridge just because people were stupid, and they licked them, and they're just like, oh. Okay, oh, oh, and it just stays in their mouth for like hours. Like, yeah, no. Um, but no, dude, like, I with the whole 79 thing, because I said that even when we talked about how games shouldn't go to 70, it's only a few games are worth it. Now, Breath of the Wall or like Tears of the King will definitely be worth it. Good RPGs will definitely it's be good worth to be, it. Yeah, it but stands to be the, said, but it's, it's right. a pretty safe guarantee that, right? Like, I mean, <laughs> just like Skyrim, like, like I talked about it before, Skyrim, Skyrim, ain't worth it. Skyrim is totally worth seventy dollars. Get y'all not now. Hours. Oh, dude, back when it came out, absolutely. Yeah, now, no, no, then. not now. Yeah, then, but not now. No, not unless they put in some new expansions. Then they got me. But like, you know yeah, what's no, messed up? Dude. Modders are making better expansion packs than the developers at this point. I pay for mm-hmm. that. Oh yeah, absolutely. I got but back if, into Fallout Four like last year, and there's like oh, six now, more stories that modders have added, and it's great shit. Um, I mean that, and that's the good thing about that particular community of games. But on the other side of that, oh, on the other side of that, it's just like when I paid, you know, like three hundred dollars to get the Apple 4K TV because of Fantasia. Like I'm a huge fan of paid three hundred dollars for Apple TV. Yeah, the the little puck. Yeah, that was like two ninety nine. Oh, you like new? Yeah, because I was just like, hey. yeah, I wanted I wanted to get like Fantasia, and that's what it was on. And I was like, I got supported, so I got that, and I got Apple Arcade and Apple TV. So hey, you know, I had to do it because I support projects that are worth it. Now, yeah, would this be any? Is this going to be on every game? Absolutely not. But like with games like those, like RPGs, I'm getting hours and hours of content. If I can play something for hours, I don't mind that. That's why, like, and this is what these stupid ass developer companies don't understand, like. When you when the freemium games like Fortnite and all those are raking in money, it's because it's a free buy-in. I don't have to pay anything for it. Like with Fantasy Star Online, I've spent probably I'd say probably close to like eighty to a hundred dollars initially on it because it was free, but I wanted to buy more characters to support the project. And I enjoy playing it and I've played it for hours. But that is the only amount of money I put into it in these like almost like seven or eight years that I've been playing it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to really just gauge, like, what's worth what. Um, and that's what people are going to start doing if they go up to 70. So, yeah, like, my biggest thing to them is I wouldn't be so, like, quick to put out this trash shit that they put out sometimes. And they better, like, have some good content because nobody's going to sit up there now and pay $70 for a 10-hour game. Because, I mean, you know, no. that's what happened with the order on PS4 where it was 59 It was four hours long. Four hours long. Like, he is not exaggerating, guys. Four hours long. You, you <laughs> can beat that. 80% of it that was a cutscene. Was a cut. And it was just like, and it was, the sad part is, it had a great premise. The Order had a great story and a great premise. It could have been so much more. But literally, like you said, it's over four hours. That was a movie. Yeah, that, that game yeah, was, that, that, that was not, Exactly. You just um, think Metal Gear uh, cutscenes was long? Nah, pimp. You, might nah, well, you pimp. can go warm up some popcorn and still be in a cutscene. At least, at least Metal Gear gives you 80 hours of cutscenes and gameplay. But well, this was just like, four hours? All right, did you enjoy that? Was that fun? And you're just like, I paid 50 I don't remember playing, playing the game. This? Bro, it was, oh God. It, was, it was a good game, too. The cover mechanics were great. Had this nice little Gears of War, like, fire, hip fire stuff. It mm. just, they said, hey, it was over four years know it. So... Yeah, that's the that's the big thing about this new 79 is that there is going to be a lot of pressure to succeed because you're asking for more money. And then, you know, they're out here doing this, but these indies are out here winning by charging us nineteen twenty nine ninety nine. 99 It's a fun game. Well, that's the yeah, way it may not be. be. Yeah, it may, it may not be the best graphics in the world, but I don't need that. I can use my imagination. Or, you know, I'm used to 2D stuff, you know. Well, okay, I was about to say, I, I, if I'm playing a game, I don't want to use my imagination. 
That's what's that's wrong why, with y'all. That's why I'm Brother, playing the game. Y'all don't think. Y'all turn off your brain and you let them do all the imagining for you. But well, that would defeat the purpose of me there. buying the game. You know what it's if like I'm, back, back in the 80s when I was playing RPG? No, on, I wasn't on like born Atari, in the 80s. Where there's like a dot and like a little sword and we just going around exploring well, that, stuff. You know what that was you like, feel, brother? You stuck in the 80s. <laughs> I was born in the 90s. <laughs> if I'm reading a book, I'll use my imagination. But if I'm playing <laughs> something that's visually stimulating, that's got a story behind it, that takes all the imagination out of it. See, so how's, that that di- how's that different, brother? You need you, you got to have polygons? That's what you're telling me? You don't need the yes! polygons, brother. That would defeat the purpose. <laughs> Otherwise, I would just turn the damn game off. <laughs> yeah, y'all would have hated it, too, though. Real talk, it would have been like, well, I, I do. Play this. For good reason. <laughs> you know why? Even Shigeru Miyamoto's like, Nintendo's bread and butter is in its characters. Yes. That takes all that takes all the imagination Ooh. out of me. Wait, wait I no, no. don't have. Did you what? see what he said? You would have asked. No, no, no. No, there was another thing he said. He had to clear up what he said because he's like, he doesn't care about story. And he's like, no, no, no. It's not that I don't care about story so much as I care more about fun gameplay first and then the story later. And I was just like... All good things. Yeah. That's beautiful. I was like, that seems like what the guy who did Mario would say. Because that's what Mario is, just fun gameplay. Because the story makes no sense, but it's good. you know. As, we as long as you know that. But right. you know what? <laughs> All the imagination is taken out of it because they've done everything for me. I just got to make a move. I mean, yes and no. But like some of the stuff, like, it, uh, like when you play an RPG on Atari and you're exploring the maze, uh, you can pretend okay. that okay. you're anything okay. going through the maze. I, I know you're, I know your head's in the clouds. Come back to Earth. It is 2023. <laughs> Nobody's playing an Atari in 2023. You might. Okay. You might. You and uh, the other four of you that, for some reason, don't want to move past 1988. <laughs> <laughs> Stay oh. back over here with the with, uh, Surge and Crack. Yeah. And our yeah. pixels. Y'all go ahead. Exactly. You know. And with polygons and other things. Games Thanks. evolve. <laughs> no, I got to do all that imagination like, no more. But we don't have to, you don't have to like reinvent the wheel every single time. We don't have to always no, have an evolved game. Oh, like, like, and no, I think no, you don't. That's, that's the big problem with the industry is that the industry always think we gotta have this big bad like triple A production. It's like, no, make me a fun game. Look at Shinobi, look at like Devil May Cry. Like, you go back and play Devil May Cry now, that shit looks dated as fuck, but it's one of the best action games you ever played. I don't know. Like, PS2? Mm Mm-hmm, PS2. It's about about the same. It's not flashy, but it's the same thing. Well, but if you look at it compared to, like, today's graphics, most like, you know. Yeah, it's it's not, but it's good. Anything 2012 is dated as hell compared to today's graphics. Right, right, that's what I'm saying. So, like... Graphics don't essentially matter because they're always going to get better. That's technology. I'm not saying about the graphics. I'm talking about the characters. I know. Like, I know the Mario, ex- Mario could be a block. Mario could be fully 3D. He's still the same. I'm going to jump, kick uh, kick turtle shells, and save a bitch that don't love him. It takes all the imagination out of the situation. But it's... it's uh, no, it didn't. Because sometimes you can imagine different things. I don't know. But, like, that's just me. Like, I, I, I love... That's why graphics don't matter to me so much. Like, because I, I still, I like, you know, put in the imagination of what it could. Like, Contra. Contra, you can imagine being just this muscle-bound soldier. Like, because, I mean, they, they really never have to story. imagine it. They're right there. I mean, yeah. He is muscle-bound. You can, you can imagine that it's Bill. He's had a hard life. And, you know, he was going to retire from the military. So you just, you're talking about adding, right before, you're talking about adding, giving him a backstory that he previously did not have. Right, or just, like, getting into it, man. Okay, like, that's what you mean by imagine. I was about to say, I, I don't mean, have to imagine the game. It's already right there. Or all of it. Even if it just imagine the graphics looking better. Like, you can do that, too. Like, I just miss those days. It was, it was <laughs> I was about to say, I think you make, I think you, this is a personal <laughs> thing for you. <laughs> I miss those I, days, man. It's I, I know, I do know people who used to draw their own Mario levels because they're like, that would be fun. That's imaginative. But yeah. those people also didn't have Mario, so they kind of had to make their own adventure. That and now, it's Mar- and now there's Mario Maker for those type of people. And it's also. stupid. It's not stupid. Mario Maker is amazing. It's stupid. It's, it's, it was lazy. Hey, no, still, it's lazy. Making, still doing numbers out here. Still doing numbers. Yeah. Crack is also bad for you, but it's still <laughs> guaranteed you're still booming. Hey, okay, on the price. 
Like I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm, you know, I'm not too much of a crackhead. I don't, I don't hang with crackheads, but I'm pretty sure crack is still moving in these streets too. Just because it's just because it's making money, don't make it good. Talking with the uh, the 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 black market guy, like, hey man, how's crack doing? Ah, I took a dip this year, but you know, <laughs> you know, crack took it. Uh, <laughs> it's almost like. Ecstasy is is surprisingly up this year. <laughs> I think at the, at the end of the end of market today, I think we're gonna see crack take a two percent dip. I'm sorry, my drug my drug stock market guy ain't ain't clicking like he used to. What's he doing? Scared about that? <laughs> We're just like we gonna go to the black market, brother. Black market, brother. How are things going on the street? <laughs> In today's news, crack took t- <laughs> the crack five hundred took uh, lost eight points today. MDMA. Up oh, seventeen. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Lean is still a stagnant rate, but it's it's slowly increasing. I think when Little Wayne makes a comeback, it'll, it'll go back up again. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, you know, it's whatever. I love Nintendo. I love I love video games. Period. I love everybody. But um, I don't love everybody. I do. I, do, I love it all, man. I just it just goes through weird phases at time. Like even right now, because that's another thing. Like and we talked about that in the chats, but like now everybody's like, "Oh my god!" Like Phil Spencer lied to us. He said the Xbox Game Pass. I'm like, bro, that was back in two, 2019. Shit say, changes. In like, 2019, when the technology <laughs> didn't exist, right? Like, well, 2019 when it did. Like, so when Game Pass came out, he was like, "If anything, it's helped." And he he wasn't lying. It it was helping. Some developers, the guy who did Descenders, he was just like, yo, if it wasn't for Game Pass, my game wouldn't have, you know, taken off like it did. And a lot of indie developers are saying that. I think, you know, as much like common sense, yeah, we knew it was going to lose some money, of course. But I think the people who lose the most money are AAA titles that are on there because, you know, it's it's they're giving away the game for not giving away the game for free. But people have the option to play it as opposed to where they, they can only have the option to like buy it or play it on Game Pass kind of thing. So, right. you know, like, of course, that's common sense. But, like, I'm tired of that being news because everybody's just like, oh, like, oh, the Game Pass is it's cannibalizing sales. Like, oh, it's not sustainable. And it's like, we don't know the numbers. Much like how we talked about in the chats, like, the report we saw, all the numbers were redacted. So we don't know if it's losing by like 10 percent 20 percent or what which if it was losing so much money it wouldn't be up right now or they go up on the price so which they are planning on going on the price but it'll be a lot higher than what it is because 999 just for the game pass and then just 14.99 a month for the ultimate is, is a big steal compared to what you get you know what i'm saying okay. so i don't know people are just weird but i think gaming is just going through a weird transition right now and i think the traditional models are about to change. Like even the way we buy video games is about to change, which we knew digital age is coming, but you know, I'm still, and we talked about this, me and you both are still like physical connoisseurs. So, you know, not so much. I know. Like now it's like, like, cause That's it's like, point. yeah, it's like, do I want to go to the store? Do I want to even, no, not even the store. there's just no point when everything, when digital things are, it's quicker to load. I don't have to look for a disc. I don't have to worry about it getting scratched and all that stuff. I'll See, buy the physical yeah. copy. It'll only be, you know, a, a special one. Like, I thought Gotham Knights was going to be a special thing because it was a, the first uh, Batman game since uh, the last Arkham game. Or it was the first non-Batman Batman game. Turned out to be garbage to me, but different. Like, when Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out, that'll be a physical release. A physical well, copy just, to get or something and, like that. And, but, and you know me. I'm 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 the historian. You're a so collector. Like you're a collector. Yeah. You're different. I like having them here. You know what I'm saying? Now don't get it wrong, I still buy digital copies. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Like some things only come out in digital or yeah. now, especially with Nintendo, they only make so many physical and then after that you have to get it online. So you know. Oh yeah, I wouldn't buy I, I'm not buying another physical switch game for damn sure because again, they're this big. You can lose them quickly. Tears of the Kingdom, though? You can get that one. I don't know. I really don't think so. Uh, did you see the collectors of that one? I ain't paying that shit. What is it, like 100 for that? Yeah, I'll, I'll pay that for 2K, but not for, not for Legend of Zelda. Because I get stuff with the physical copy. I get stuff for 2K that's worth it to me. That's that true. Tears of the King- what am I going to do with the art book? I don't care. 
I love art books. They're great. You love? We ain't talking about you. We talk. You, you see that name right there? And, and the sound and the soundtrack, sir. You get the soundtrack. I still have my soundtrack. To, to get the soundtrack, I could get the soundtrack off of YouTube Music for free. I, I know, but like I have the disc for like references. Like so, when I finally open the museum, you know, what I'm saying people can see everything. Okay, that's a you thing, not a me thing. <laughs> I'm not trying to open a museum. I don't care about a museum. I want to preserve the gaming history one day. I can get everything in that collector's edition online for free. I mean, can you though? Can you? Yes. Yes. You think you can't get the Breath of the Wild soundtrack on Apple Music right now? I mean, but like, I have the disc, though. Okay, is that helping anybody other than you? It helps me. It makes me feel Okay, good. it helps <laughs> you. Okay, again, you. It's a you problem, not a me problem. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Hmm. I just... Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild official game soundtrack. Hey. I mean, the, do you? I'm gonna be over here hanging out with my CD. You know what I'm saying? There you go. I love it. I just like I'm I'm debating. I don't think Ox about Traveler Two is gonna have the collector's edition, but I'd like to get it. Like when I get a job again, I have that. Hey, hey, man! Hey, I love my little collector's edition. Forget y'all. That was amazing. I like a little a real coin and like art book and a little fold book. Man, amazing. Got you. Just sound like oh. <laughs> <sighs> just hold it and sleep at night. Like, oh, so. you sound like all those people at cons that I stay away from. <laughs> oh my god, one. guys! Like, oh, the, the statue. Oh, they only made like two hundred of these. Yes. I had more respect for you. <laughs> you are losing it. The more you talk, let's, hey, let's hey. end the show. I love it. It's I understand that you love it, but Fire please. Emblem Steel Seal on GameCube, five hundred to a thousand dollars right now, son. I seriously, I really can't believe Scott's Arcadia is worth like three hundred, four hundred dollars. It's crazy stuff. But anyway, anyway, guys, uh, this has been another wonderful episode of the Nerd Plate. I'm gonna stop this nigga before he talks himself <laughs> out of anything else. <laughs> Next week, it's, it's 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 you at Big Birch. It's like, oh, Rock Band got fired. <laughs> 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 no, it'll be you emerge. I, <laughs> I can't deal with this. I can't, I can't put up with I this. But no. Oh. Uh, Would you like me to close out the show? Series? Yeah, because I was in the middle of doing it and I forgot where I was. <laughs> That's all right, uh, guys. All right, okay, just do it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for listening and watching with us once again. Uh, you know, you've, you've watched and listened to another great episode of The Nerd Plate. You can find us everywhere, The Nerd Plate. That's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, which Twitter is nerd-plate. Um, it's not. Or, it's just at Nerd Plate. Don't listen oh, it's to at, it's at Nerd Plate. I, why do I keep thinking the underscore? Okay. At Nerd Plate. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> there's also the Patreon. Look out for that. We got something great coming. Uh, we, we hope you guys will enjoy that pretty soon. Um, and yeah, you know, we just really appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging with us so far. And uh, until next time, I'm Rockman3K3. And I'm Brother H. We out. We out. <laughs>